We are back at Signature Group for some more TLC, but this time for a very special, very new car. And this video, admittedly, we're actually seeing in reverse because even though we've taken delivery of the RS6, and you're probably now watching this after the RS6 collection video, what I actually had instead was Audi drop off the car directly at Signature Group before we even tuck off any stickers, any wrapping. This thing is quite literally fresh off the truck from the factory in Germany. Now, the reason for that is I really want this car to be prepped perfectly from day one. And it's not that uh, dealers do a bad job, it's just that a, a lot of the time they don't have the uh, time or resources to put into this car. The job that we're gonna do now on the RS6 is probably gonna end up being a five day job. What's happening is the car's gonna have a full detail. We've obviously gotta remove all of the packaging on it first. Interior is gonna be protected with a special interior coating to uh, pr protect from jean stains and things like that. And that's happening because the interior on this is a sort of light gray uh, color with lots of Alcantara, which absorbs jean stain. Um, and then after that, the car's going in for a full body paint protection film application. So we still need to prep the body on this so the PPF sticks correctly. It's gonna be quite a long job, similar to the uh, wrap on the GT3, only this time it'll be transparent. Uh, but the work, effort and detail that goes into this will be no less. So without further ado, we've got four or five days ahead and I'm gonna try and condense it into the most interesting 15 minutes possible. Let's do it. All of the packaging is off, all the stickers, the bags, everything is off. Now Signature are going to do a full assessment of the vehicle. It might sound strange, even though it's fresh off a truck, the thing is filthy. It's traveled from Germany and it looks like it's been on an open top lorry. It is dirt everywhere. However, it's not just about that. The Signature are now going to go around and it's almost a bespoke wash depending on what car it is and its situation. Now with this car being brand new and we've peeled off all of these stickers, there's lots of sticker residue around and also it's their opportunity to check out the paintwork closely and cater the wash to this car specifically. Take the wheels for example. This thing has barely been driven and it also has carbon ceramic brakes. So they don't have to use a product on there which is quite as harsh as normal because there isn't any brake dust buildup. So yeah, it's nice to be able to tailor it specifically to this car. Okay, so the basic washdown of the car is being done. This is just pure natural water just to get off any major chunks. And then we're gonna apply the snow foam application. This part of the wash is my favorite because it looks awesome. But let's check out what Tom's doing and find out why we're doing this in the first place. Load. The reason this is happening is despite it being a, a new car and despite it having its first wash down just now, there is still surface grime and the snow foam basically lifts all of that grime off the surface of the car. So later on, when we eventually apply any contact on the car, the dirt is actually lifted from the surface of the car rather than still stuck to it. And also on top of the uh, snow foam, Signature are also using an all-purpose cleaner. First time I've seen this stuff. Every time I come down here, I'm educated as something new. 
basically in all of the tight cracks recesses around seals badges and things like that there's often like harder to remove grime it's a bit more built up and this stuff just gets in the cracks small brush and etches it all out all right snow foam done first wash done and the all-purpose cleaner has been applied and now it's time to wash off that first layer of grime and then onto the wheels i mean straight away you can see here on these tire walls that white foam instantly gone brown this car has barely turned a wheel so far so i'm not sure where it's all come from but it just shows it's masked with dirt last stage before clay barring is fallout remover and this is probably a little bit extreme for, for what's happening now because it's normally designed for when cars have been brought in which have been on the road for some time and have picked up some brake dust and things like that but as always with applying ppf you can never be too careful so that's being applied now any last bit of grime will be pulled off the surface and then it's back into the bay for clay bar now, usually with fallout remover, any contact with iron turns purple. But for obvious reasons, we aren't gonna be able to see this on this car. But it's still, it's nice to know that anything that might have slipped the net will probably be all pulled off by the stuff. Right here, great example, look. We've got some fallout on the floor here, which is dripping off from the car. Chances are, this isn't actually off the brakes. I mean, it's barely turned a wheel. They are carbon ceramic brakes as well. So uh, brake dust fallout, particularly iron fallout from these is very, very small. So this is likely to be stuff that has been picked up from the factory or even the uh, transport along the way. No doubt the condition this arrived in, it was fairly dirty. It was probably on an exposed trailer. So that journey all the way back from Germany to here has picked up a lot more than I thought. Look at this, all the way down here. That's so shocking actually. This is a brand new car, yet all of that purple there is contaminant still on that car, even after being washed three and four times. It's madness, eh? All right, full wash and body decontamination is now complete and we brought the RS6 in the bay for clay bar time. We're gonna be just taking off the surface any fine blemishes and problems which you can't see straight away, but using clay bar ensures that that surface is perfectly clean and smooth for when the PPF goes on. If this stage isn't done, you can sometimes detect slight lumps and bumps in the final application. So uh, yeah, let's check out this process and see what it's all about. Okay, clay bar taking place. It's being lubricated by Signature's quick detail solution. And you'll notice these guys are only doing it in backwards and forwards lines. You'll never catch a good detailer doing circular motions with a clay bar. And this is mainly because if you do get any contaminants in the clay, it's a lot harder to fix circular swirl motions than it is straight lines. So these guys are keeping it nice and straight just in case. All right, that was the fifth and final wash of the day. It ensures that the paint is absolutely perfect. This is my favorite bit. They air dried the whole car. It's the least contact possible with the paintwork to make for a perfect finish and it's also great to get in all of those nooks and crannies and panel gaps that you, you wouldn't normally do so comes here now with this airline just drying it off this is the end of the day so day one it's taken a whole day just to detail this car and prep the bodywork in time for ppf which is now going to take place tomorrow Day two and we are back at Signature Group for the second stage of preparing the RS6 for its PPF and the first stage is to mask the whole car off to protect it from any dust getting in the seals and also from the buffing machine damaging of sensitive parts. All right, we have found our first blemish, but we actually think that this is a retouch. I'm not sure if it's from factory, but we definitely have a scratch here. And uh, yeah, someone's tried to fill it in. So this is exactly why we go through this stage of buffing the uh, paint to try and get out problems exactly like this. Hopefully the guys at Signature will be able to fix it. All right. 
right, there we go. So, first buff done, and as you can see, fortunately, that surface is now crystal clear. So, thankfully, that touch up wasn't too deep, and the paint's back to brand new. Of course, the last time I was here, the process I had done was actually getting the GT3 wrapped. Today, the RS6 is getting paint protection film. It's a completely different process, as opposed to a wrap where everything sort of hand tailored heat guns and things trying to fit panels and, and stretch them uh, with PPF as we can see here everything is pre-configured to be printed out directly on a plotter so as soon as we hit print it sends it over to this machine here and off it goes So as you can see, plenty of slip solution has been applied. And the whole purpose of this is, look, if I move this, this whole panel can move. So it's really easy to move it around and it's pliable. So you've still got plenty of time to make this thing fit and stick. As soon as any of these areas go dry, which happens when the squeegee is applied, this thing sticks in place. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, day three down at Signature. These guys have actually been working on the car a little bit while I've been away. So let's check out what has been done so far. But actually, this is a really cool example of just how good and stealth-like PPF film is. So far, this area of the car has been done. So this uh, right-hand side here, this panel has actually already had PPF applied. And this part of the boot hasn't. If I get in on there, you can see that you cannot tell. And that is exactly what you want. You can't tell that PPF has been applied, then it's a really good job. So right now, this I think is the last day until it's completed. So far, it's looking super, super shiny. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait for it to be done. And then no doubt it'll have its final wash, which I think is wash number seven by then. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to actually take that car then back down to Audi to actually do the handover with the RS6 for the first time. All right, full paint protection film has now been applied to the car. It's pretty much complete, but the, one of the last stages is to go around and do a quality control check on every panel of the car, just to make sure that while it's been sat, no edges have peeled, no bubbles have appeared, and it's just that check over to make sure it's absolutely perfect. Okay, so the car is now back in the bay from its outsider inspection and the final finishing touches on this car, which is a treatment separate from PPF, is the interior protection for this car. We're applying a solution that protects against oils, jean stains, things like that. While it's brand new, it's a great opportunity to apply this from day one. So we've got the best opportunity of keeping this car as clean as possible. And in future, when it does get dirty, it's just gonna make it easier when I bring it back to Signature for a clean to remove any surface dirt. Okay, this is it. Even though that I've been with the car the whole week while it's being done, we've seen it from off the truck to looking absolutely pristine. 
There's no better feeling than seeing your car in perfect condition, rolling out absolutely glistening and shining. And today just so happens to be the hottest day of 2016. So there's no better day to unveil this car. So without further ado, let's check this out. Okay, so this is it. This is the first time that I've seen the RS6 in pristine condition. Up until this point, it's only ever been wrapped in stickers or got you know pre-packaging from traveling uh, over from Germany on the truck. And even though I've been alongside this car every step of the way while it's been at Signature Group, there's always been people around it. It's been covered in suds. You know, the guys have been working on the paint protection film and there's been that much work going on it that I've yet to have an opportunity to step back and just see this thing in its purity, just gleaming and looking fantastic. It just drove out of Signature's workshop just now, the sunshine beating down on that fantastic paintwork. Merlin Purple is a bold choice, but it looks so good. Again, very much like most heavy um, flecked metallic paints, in the sunlight, it glistens a beautiful iridescent purple. High spots are super bright, low spots are sort of accentuated with deep shadows. And in uh, lower light, in overcast situations, the whole thing smoothens right out, darkens down, and goes to a sort of deep rich purple. It's a really nice paint, and I can't wait to experience it in, in more lights. But I have to say a massive thank you to Signature for doing this job. I've seen a few paint protection film applications before. Never have I been there for a process of this detail to see it all going on, but the guys are so skilled. Every time I watch an application by these guys, be it a wrap, a detail, PPF, you realize how much time and effort goes into it. I can honestly say this is exactly the kind of thing you don't want to be trying at home. You think of it as just putting a big sticker on a car, Watching these guys work, it is an art form. It's a fantastic job, and I have to say a huge thank you. These guys have been awesome. But now, it's time to enjoy this car. You are seeing this after the collection day, but still, I haven't had full time to fully enjoy it. So, yeah, while it's summer, while it's finally got some decent weather, we're gonna get this thing out, go on some road trips, and the first drive video in this car is coming really, really soon. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Ciao.